All right, guys, Andrew Edwards back here from CES, and um, a lot of people this year are talking about how to get your content onto your portable media devices. Um, you know, taking TV with you um, on the devices that you have, um, cell phones, iPods, et cetera. So we just found the iRecord device. It's called the iRecord Personal Media Recorder. We're going to take a look at it and see if it lives up to its name after this. Okay guys, Andrew Evers with Abdul Khan here, and Abdul is from Streaming Networks, and he's going to show us the iRecord. Abdul, obviously a lot of people love television, movies, etc. They want to take them with them, and you're aiming to help them do that. Oh yeah, and it's not just with them. They want it on a device that they can watch anywhere while they're on the go, or you know, on, on the plane. So what we can do is we can take your TV, your DVDs, uh, whatever you have on a TiVo box, camcorders, LPs, turntables, CD players, PC, um, VHS, if I miss anything, let me know, I'll say yes to that as well. Take all that content, dump it straight onto your iPod, your PSP, your USB mass storage device, or your cell phones like Motorola, Motorola Razr and SLVR with the touch of a button. Now check this out. I have my PSP right here, hooked onto my iRecord, and I have my live TV, which is right here. It's NBC, you can see it's live. Let's go see, let's, let's go verify this. All right, all right. Um, so here we have uh, television, live TV. And what we're doing is, we're about to obviously bring this onto the iRecord and onto the PSP. Yes, sir. So this is TV show, I will do this with the touch of a button. Look at that. That's it. That red flashing is telling you all what you're seeing over here is being recorded directly onto my PSP real time. That means no downloading, okay? This does not have a memory. It gives you over three hours per gig at stunning video quality. Trust me, you will see it for yourself. So take a look at what you're recording. I'm gonna stop it now with the same button. I hit the button again, it stops. I go to my PSP. It knows it's a movie file. It dumps it onto the memory card. I've been recording onto the PSP for three days. I have around 500 files on this. It's gonna be a little slow accessing the memory card, all right? But trust me, it does. And this isn't an iRecord problem. This is a PSP memory access problem. This is a PSP because there's so many files I recorded. So every time you record and start recording, a new file is created. Now check that out. That kind of video quality. That's your TV directly onto your PSP. Now if you have an iPod, you're lucky because now we can, we can record your protected DVDs. That means any DVD you rent or buy directly onto your iPod, you don't have to pay iTunes for it. You own it, you pay to view it if you rented it, you have the right to move on to iPod. And it gets sweeter. You can tell this, I record what time to start recording, what time to stop recording, so while you're getting for, ready for a date and you're gonna miss that TV show, you don't have to miss it. You can have it dumped directly onto your iPod without being there and you watch it while you drive. Unfortunately, I never get any dates, but for those who do, they can record this. Now, how would you set that up to uh, record? You download a utility from our website, you tell it what time to start recording, what time to stop recording, and the frequency. So that show that you never ever want to miss, it'll always be on your iPod no matter what. When is it going to be available and at what price? Uh, it was available around six weeks ago and it's available at $199. And they would just, where would they go to, to find out more or per make a purchase? Uh, www.irecord.com. You can't go wrong with this device. Abdul, thanks a lot. It's actually very impressive. Those of you wanting to liberate your media and content, I record. Check it out. We'll be back with more CES coverage right after this.